Hey my loves, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, hi. My name is Ebola Bombs and you are welcome to the channel. So today we are going to be talking about femininity. It's kind of like a conversation, even though I have a little tip to throw in here and there. But um, I just hope that you guys enjoy this video. Keep, keep an open mind, you guys. Keep an open mind. Keep your triggers to the side and be open to receive okay okay let's hop right into the video <laughs> okay so I'm doing my makeup with you guys again <laughs> I see that you guys enjoy this kind of videos so <laughs> so um okay I know that there's a lot going on about femininity right now on the internet trust me <laughs> and I want you guys to take note of just this one thing that I want to say. It's going to determine how you take every other thing I'm going to say. A lot of these um, femininity videos are everywhere, right? We see them, how to be more feminine, how to be, how to act like a lady and all of these things. But one thing I want to tell you guys is while you are looking at these videos, while you are reading these things, while, while you are listening to things like this, one thing you shouldn't do is lose yourself one thing you shouldn't do is lose who you are because someone is telling you this is how to be feminine so you at the end of the day um you get to decide what to take out and what not to take out from this video it is not a must it is not people are not forcing you they're not forcing their opinions down your throat i don't know if that makes sense so it's at the end of the day it's you who gets to decide because i was i was listening to something and the babe goes on to say she went for she went for this femininity class and <sighs> femininity class how to how to be fe feminine femininity 101 <laughs> how to get a man that's not what this is about anyways i'm not i'm not telling you guys how to how to copy a man but i'm just saying don't lose your personality with these kind of videos when you are trying to reinvent yourself you also still want to stay true to yourself while on the journey okay so i have a couple of things that i have to say concerning um you know becoming more feminine and stuff like that so i just want to share with you guys so first of all when you are trying to become who is who is a feminine woman let's let's suppose you start from there who is a feminine woman i'm going to kind of explain this in like the simplest terms femininity is reaching or allowing your feminine side to be more prominent allowing your feminine side to be more you know pronounced if that is what you want not everybody's um that's why you see a lot of people are women but they are tomboys right so um these are people who um, they are not really they don't really want to get in touch with their femininity so their masculine energy is kind of overtaking um, and that's what they want not like I'm bashing anybody but that's what they want so if you you want to appear as a feminine woman the first thing that you really want to do is to identify why you want to um, become this feminine woman why you want to rebrand into her and what is your destination what is the goal so um a lot of the time people um do these things for for men which i would not even advise <laughs> because um it has to do a lot with you battling so many things so when you are trying to reinvent yourself you need to do it for yourself you only have yourself nothing else like no other person is guaranteed like if you are doing this for a man it is not it is not guaranteed it is not sustainable you need to do this for yourself if you want to rebrand if you want to reinvent yourself rebranding is basically you already have a brand so because we are, we are labeling it as a rebrand but sometimes we fail to even ask ourselves what is this what 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 does it mean to rebrand it means that you you yourself as a person you are a brand okay 
everybody is a brand so you are trying to rebrand yourself into someone who you who you want to become so you want to be confident you want to be bold you want to be rich you know working in abundance having an abundance mindset not having a scarcity mindset so you really need to be the one to define what you want and even while you are doing this which brings me to my second point you want to heal from whatever it is that you need to heal from and i'm sure that if you need if you need to heal from something as i said this right now it clicked you need to heal from past traumas heartbreaks friendship heartbreaks relationship heartbreaks childhood traumas i don't know whatever it is you need to heal from you you, you probably know what you need to heal from identify why you want to do this who are you outside of for example me who am i outside of being a youtuber so if someone should ask you now who are you you're not a lawyer you're not a well you are a lawyer you are a youtuber you are a banker you are a content creator but outside of what other people know you as who are you do you get what i'm saying who 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 would you define yourself as and you need to answer that question for yourself um it's really important because it's like the foundation to your level up journey now the next thing that i'm going to say in terms of becoming more feminine well um, this this can also like this <laughs> i just remembered something so let me just put out the point. A feminine woman is soft, right? A feminine woman um, is most likely on the receiving side. Like you need to be open to help. So I have this experience here when I was coming back home. I slipped when I was coming down from the plane, but I didn't fall. So I slipped when I was about like stepping on the ground from the stairs. And there was this man who kind of looks back at me and immediately i slipped i got myself back so i just continued working so he slowed down and was waiting for like for me to catch up i didn't even know but um with how fast i walk if you know me <laughs> if you know me you know that i'm oh you can never catch me walking like i i, I run like I, I walk like i'm running like i'm really literally always walking fast i don't know why so he had to slow down and waited for like he was just waiting for me to like catch up and then he offered to help me carry like my hand luggage because it was quite heavy and he felt like that was what made me to you know um sleep but immediately i was like oh no thank you i was actually as nice as how i just said it i was like oh no thank you and i had a smile on but when i came back home and i was replaying everything that happened that day because that day was such a stressful day i was just replaying everything and i was like but then why did you say no <laughs> like why did you not just accept help i mean what's the worst that could happen and it's not a case of um oh, okay with how i know that oh if um it was a local flight here but even at that um there's this thing about not in the airport if you are at the airport you avoid touching people's um hand luggages just so that if 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 they are you know carrying illegal sub substances you don't implicate yourself so I'm not telling you guys to offer help or like receive help from everybody if you get what I'm saying but at that point in time I was already landing and um, if anything if I had any illegal thing it was gonna be him that was even gonna be implicated because he was the one that touched my luggage but then what I'm just saying is I, I should have just said yes like that's as that's an example of things that we just casually just say oh no thank you like I i mean it's it doesn't hurt for someone to help me carry like just help me roll my luggage so um we want to if you want to be more feminine be open to receiving help me i did not come to this life to suffer like when i was just thinking about it that day i was already stressed so if someone is offering help i mean receive the help you're already stressed you can see that you you're stressed you know so um yeah that's just what i'm going to say be open to receiving help femininity is all about soft life that is what me i have learned so far it's all about living a soft life no stress no drama you're just literally on like self-care mood okay exactly self-care mode so anything that is helping you to 
um, be at peace more do that <laughs> okay so the next thing that we're talking about is your attitude guys most times when they talk about when you see these videos on how to be more feminine everybody's telling you oh you need to upgrade your looks that is perfect like I'm not against that, that I, I mean you, you need to look the parts right but a lot of girls actually look the parts but then inside it's a mess <laughs> Sometimes when you hear them speak, they have no manners, they are rude, they are arrogant, they are impatient. The whole point of being a feminine woman is to appear soft, is to be soft, not even to appear soft. Even you, when you are, when you, when you reinvent and finally become who, who you want to become, you will be proud of like how soft your life is, like how, how soft and easygoing your life is. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. So yeah, you want to kind of work on your attitude being rude doesn't doesn't pay it, i used to be very rude in secondary school if people were trying trying to talk to me especially guys if guys were trying to talk to me i used to snub a lot like i was known for snubbing people if people were talking to me i would be rude to them i just remembered one scenario now so when i was really a teenager when my friends would call me guess what my response would be like i would pick up the phone Where's my phone? <laughs> I would pick up the phone. What? That was literally how I used to reply calls. Like I would pick up my phone and I'm like, what? And then one day my sister heard me on the call. I'm just like, what are you doing? Like, do that's not how you answer calls. Like, give like someone just called you to check up on you why are you answering them asking them what they can't call you to check up on you so in order to become um more feminine you need to be more tender you need to be more gentle you need to be more calm receiving like be able to another thing that you need to be open to receiving is compliments as a woman when people compliment you don't bring down yourself in your head or even like say something like oh no I, I don't even think my dress is that fine or stop whining me like all those silly silly comments mm -mm. Mm -mm. don't do that when someone gives you a compliment learn how to take the compliments then learn how to start receiving compliments okay so like I said Becoming more feminine is you are more open to receiving. But then there are some compliments that are insults in disguise. Know when to, <laughs> know when to figure things out. Know when to draw the line and create boundaries with such people that are trying to mock you in form of a compliment. Do you get what I'm saying? And be nice to people, um, not because the world is telling you, oh, be nice to people because people are going through things that should not be the standard for why you should be nice to people that should not be why you should be nice to people because people are going through things be nice to people because you are a nice person just genuinely be a nice person okay when you have that every other thing is going to sort itself out once you're genuinely a nice person you will have to like be filtering your words because oh maybe this person is going through something let me know and say the one now that will make the person depressed you understand once you're genuinely a nice person you don't have to um, be doing things because you feel like you are going to make someone go into depression mode so just genuinely be a nice person okay right <laughs> So I'm just going to blend this out. So another thing in terms of your attitude would have to be your body language because that also tells a lot about you. So um, I know that sometimes me personally, I have a very um, unapproachable look. <laughs> if I'm in, that's because I'm actually an introvert who is trying to become uh, more open to talking with people. So, if you see me outside, you will see that I'm always, you know, um, closed up in my shell and, you know, just by myself and keeping like a, a very straight face. Not, be, not because I don't want someone to talk to me. If you come and talk to me, like, I would receive you very well. But I'm also learning to not have that very serious, serious face that is like, mm -mm, this one is a no-go area. No, I don't want that to be like me so i want people to see me and be able to like oh okay just come say hi 
and not be giving resting bitch face every time something called discernment and where you're able to discern when you should do this and when you should not do this now because i'm saying um be open to receiving help that does not mean that you should receive help from everybody because at the end of the day people have fallen into traps all in the name of receiving help from people um so at the end of the day just be very careful that is why i when i started this video i was like oh you need to not lose yourself when you are listening to these kind of videos so um it's again it's it all falls back to you and you being able to discern what is best for you and how you basically live your life because i cannot even tell you how to live your life i don't know if you guys got what i'm saying so so another quality another good quality of a feminine woman is being able to express herself um if something is bothering you say it and as little as me going to go and make my hair or do my nails no if it's my nails i will tell you straight up that i don't like it but if it's for my hair i can i can i think i can manage um i don't even know sometimes i'm just looking at things that they're doing and i'm like i don't like this thing but should i talk should i not talk when i go home i'll look at my mirror and i'll just be like i've been there i'm sure we've all been there once or twice <laughs> so yeah a good feminine woman would be someone who is able to express herself and in a very respectful way okay so it's all again wisdom wisdom has a lot to do with this because it's all about being soft and just living your best life and living a life that you are at peace with yourself so if something is bothering you speak up speak up i'm speaking to myself right now if something is bothering you speak up speak up I like like how my my skin is looking don't we don't be like it i need to get contour i don't have a good um contour set so i really don't do contour on my face i need to get a contour um concealer or like a powder i don't know anywho so at the end of the day um this thing needs to be balanced male female we both have you know masculine energy and feminine energy but a, a man a man has feminine energy men are mostly in their masculine energy for example men love to feel like they are needed for instance um let's say you are with your man and you want to reach something that is high up there they like when you ask them for um, help like that they love to feel like they are needed um, but then a woman um, who is operating in her feminine energy is going to be the one to like oh ask for help I don't know if you guys get what I'm trying to say but the key thing here is to basically kind of create balance know when your masculine energy should talk know when it should be you know more feminine because in this day and time yeah having all the feminine qualities 247 is, is dangerous if I'm being honest with you it's actually very dangerous to just be the soft woman <laughs> that I've been talking about 247 so you need to know how to balance it out know when to be stern with your decisions know when to you know be concrete on your decisions know what you want and if I mean woman doesn't mean that you have to be like soft and you know anything they push to you you take anything they do they do like this you take you do like this you take no you need to know when to you need to know when to like stand your ground even as a feminine woman so again balance have balance with all these things so a man a man now in his masculine energy men love to kind of solve problems they like to be needed they like you to ask them for help not like they just want to keep um they want to feel like they are the ones who are helping you out but it's their nature to want to help so this video basically was centered around your attitude and you know inner work i didn't even really touch on how much you need to heal from past traumas maybe that's like another video but um while you are on this journey to becoming a more feminine woman you need to heal from past traumas you need to heal from things that have hurt you in the past just so that you open up the gates for more to flow into you more blessings and more opportunities to flow into you you need to heal so that when people that are sent to help you when your angels in human form come to help you you're not pushing them away because you are 
healing from things that you don't talk about or you're healing from things that you know that you did not deserve so take your time to heal time is not going to heal you time is not going to heal you if time heals then when two people fall off like when two people fall out they should get over each other at the same time right they should be over each other like the exact same day time second but then you'd find that one person moves on faster than the other that is because that person is doing a lot of inner work that person is doing a lot of healing for themselves because they want to move past that situation fast so healing is not oh don't worry time will heal you mm -mm. you need to start doing the inner work and that is where your journey begins so yeah i think i've spoken for such a long time but um yeah that is basically it about this video and um i think we should have a part two if you guys want a part two please let me know but it's not going to be how to become a more feminine woman maybe we would have it in another topic so just subscribe to the channel just so that you don't miss it so subscribe to my channel if you are new like this video if you enjoyed it comment down below guys let's have conversations in the comments and yeah i will see you guys in my next one thank you so much for watching bye guys mm -hmm.